So let's look at the titration of polyprotic acids. We can start with a diprotic acid. Um, here's the general format, H2, say SO3 plus OH minus. So the first hydrogen ion comes off, okay? And then you take that anion and you take off the second hydrogen ion. When you look at the titration curve, note that there's two equivalence points, one for each reaction. Okay, so this is showing the equivalence point of that first hydrogen ion coming off, and this is showing the, where the second hydrogen ion is coming off. Also note that you have a buffer area here. Okay, so this is the equivalence point. Right here is the half equivalence point. Remember, you can use, right, that pH equals pKa at the half equivalence point, and you can find Ka1 for whatever this acid is. Again, as we go for the second one, you've got another buffer area. So if this is the second equivalence point, and notice that these are the same volumes to go from first to second. Halfway, again, this will, the pH, right, will give you the pKa of the Ka for this for HA minus. This is for HA minus, okay, and this is the Ka for H2A. So you'll get two equivalence points, and you can still use the half equivalence points to find the Ka's for Ka1 and Ka2. For a triprotic acid, like phosphoric acid, obviously you're going to see three equivalence points. Here's one, here's two, and oddly enough, the last one is really hard to find. The, uh, this reaction and the, the um, I'm trying to say, the ionization of water are so close to each other, it gets lost in here a little bit. It's really hard to find this third equivalence point. We'll do this in the lab, and we'll see if we can, uh, we can find it. But again, your first midpoint, pH is pKa, so you could use this to find Ka1. That would be for phosphoric acid, okay? Remember, it's not the equivalence point, it's the half equivalence point. Again, you could use this to find the Ka for H2PO4 minus, okay? The second equivalent point, here's your third midpoint, okay? So you could do that to find the Ka for HPO4 minus. And again, note that the same volumes are taken up to get from to the first equivalence point to the second to the third. Um, so they're not too much more complicated. They just they have the number of equivalence points of, as kind of reactions you could write. And again, this third one is going to get a little buried, but we'll do it in the lab, and I'll show you how we can kind of blow that up and maybe maybe find that. So that's all there is to titrating polyprotic acids.